Six, right? Uh, today is six. Monday, April 6, 2015. This eight, eight month old female, not, not spirit pup, had this uh, skin problem. A lot of pimples appear about three weeks ago. And uh, on, on this side, on the ears, and uh, both ears actually, both ears. And then it becomes more and more, it spread to the chin. And uh, this is like a, a young, young man having pimples. And you still can see some, some pimples are still there. So this is usually due to bacteria going into the hair follicles. So this condition is called folliculitis. Now the thing is, this part also has a lot of pimples spread to here. And uh, we did a bub C, the skin, and uh, the bubble shows that it's called a ruptured epidermis cyst. With, with no, no malignancy, that means it's not cancerous. And uh, there's a lot of pus inside the cyst and uh, foreign body. So as to what causes it now, from what I see from here, now you can see only left side affected, but right side, nothing. So from my experience, that this, this part probably have this pain in the ear. It's called the ear, ear pain. And then this ear pain is causing it to be very itchy. So normally, normally in parts or in dog, take the tissue here. Tissue. So, so in, in, uh, in, in dogs, when they have itchy ears or painful ears, they use the leg like to scratch like that. And uh, so the more you scratch, the more the more he damaged the skin and you can see it's spread only left side. So 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 if you if you if you concentrate on, on skin problem actually this one is most likely not skin problem. It's more like a ear. So if you can solve the ear each, then you will solve the scratching. Now take some of the water. So I'll check the ear now. I check the ears, which already has recovered quite well from the pimples. Last time was 100% full of pimples, but it's still inflamed, so I check. See, it doesn't like it, it's painful. It's painful deep in, so the nerve is painful. Now this side I check, this side so. This side is probably not so painful, but I check and see. Now we check in the vertical canal. Not so painful, they are quite deep in it, not so painful. So that explains why he doesn't uh, why she doesn't scratch the right inside. Now you you go to the other side. And then I'll check. Check that check one more time. Not so painful as just now you saw the other side. And also not dirty. So my palpation not so painful on this side. It's more painful. Come, let me check again. More painful, but, but probably due to the part it's more painful because it's cutting on the side here, as you can see. This is due to the back leg. Is it back leg scratching here, sorry? Yeah. So all damaged by the, the back leg, which is uh, quite active in, uh, in scratching. So now the owner has uh, this perhaps area. Yesterday she scratched so, so there was bleeding. So I think I would see, but normally she should be okay. It's best not to cover up because when you yeah. cover up, it doesn't heal. Mm -hmm. So you see the pipe C area. So from this pipe C area, we know that the pump has a ruptured epidermal cyst. That is the report with no malignancy. Unfortunately, this pipe C area, the stitches break down. So there, there are two alternatives. One alternative I open up here. We call it a Z plastic Z. Do one line here and one line here. So it's like a Z. So this Z will close will close up the skin. So in uh, in uh, any circular wound, you cannot you cannot stitch like that. You stitch like that. It's very high tension. It looks okay for the first few days, but especially this part keep on breaking it. So if the owner is uh, agreeable, then I will have to open up here. Open up here first. It's called Z-Vasti. 
we're going to be longer, and we're going to be longer here. Right? So then put the, then there's space to, to close up. Yeah. That is the one. Okay, can. Okay.